Christmas. Hey everyone, gonna come right out and say it, this video did not go as planned. Um, unfortunately, what I wanted the routine to do, I cannot get one section to work. I've tried over and over again. I've even tried the new Help Me script by Google, which we're gonna talk about, and I'm actually show you later in the video me trying to get the Help Me script to do this one part. I'm completely stumped. If you can help me out, please do so in the comments. I am, this is driving me nuts. <laughs> this is driving me nuts. I've been trying for two days now to get this to work. I've tried everything I possibly can think of. Like you're gonna find out, I'm not a programmer. I have no idea what I'm doing on this. I just wanna see if I can get this to actually work. If you can help out, please do so. Let's just get on with the video. Hi, I'm Joe from A Smarter Home Canada. A few weeks ago, Google introduced a new function for their assistance settings, mostly involving how routines are made. You now have the option to program your own assistant routines inside the home.google.com website. They've added more functions for existing routines, allowing you to customize your routines a little more precisely. I am not a programmer. Scratch that. I was a programmer back in 1990. <coughs> I haven't done any computer programming since. My path, life path took me on a totally different route. So everything that I'm going to be doing is absolutely brand new to me. I've been told this is fairly easy to get things up and running. So my goal today is to set up a routine for when I'm going to go out and enjoy the hot tub at night. I want this routine to turn on the backyard lights. I want to change the color of the lights and change the brightness of the lights. Finally, I wanted to shuffle my hot tub music playlist on Google Music and set the volume to 80%. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to do this all in the routine. I currently do have a routine set up using the existing assistant routine settings. I just wanna see if I can make it a little bit better. Let's start with the existing routine that I have. We're gonna run through that quick and see how easy that is to script using home.google.com. I'm just gonna start the routine now, get everything going. Hot tub time. I don't know. Take two. Hot tub time. Now this is our existing routine. So you can see the lights have came on and the backyard speaker should start playing. And there it goes. The lights came on, the speaker started. Now let's set up a new automation to do this using the script. I was just about to sit down and start programming here when I noticed the help me script option is now available. Uh, this was something I didn't think we'd be getting in Canada, mostly because we at this point do not have access to Bard at all. And I thought this was going to be part of that Bard AI. On the script editor, you, you can now see that the help me script option is fully available here. But if we do go to Bard, Bard isn't currently supported in your country. Stay tuned. So we'll be sure to test out some of the features in here as well, see if it'll make it a little easier. All ready to program here. I'm just gonna have uh, what I'm doing in a box over here that you can kind of follow along. First thing we're doing is just going to the home.google.com website, bring up the automations page, and then hit add new to start a new routine. This is what comes up. So you can see here, there's lots of instructions. Uh, you've got your metadata, which is what we're gonna do first, name, we're going to call this hot tub time and then description what the routine does so if I put in when I say hot tub time lights and music will start in the backyard that's what we wanted to do the next step is going to be starting the routine we're going to want to use voice activation for this so the starters type, when you click on it, it's actually going to bring up this nice little drop down menu that uh, you can kind of select what your command is. Seems pretty easy to use at this point. We're going to select assistant event OK. Pops up the next thing. We're going to call this routine hot tub time. That means when I ask Google, it's going to 
run this automation. The next section is about conditions. Now these are optional because this is a called automation. I'm not going to be using it so I've just deleted that section out of the program. We're now on to the guts of the script. We're doing our actions. Once again it brings up this lovely drop down menu style that you can pick what actions you want to happen. So the first thing we need to do is we are looking for a device on and off. We want to turn the device on, which equals true. And then the, the device, we just, once again, it'll bring up all the devices that we can turn off on and off. We are looking for backyard lights and we're just going to select that. And that is our first action type done. The second thing we want to happen is to change the brightness of the lights to maximum. There is this option here called brightness absolute. We're going to select that and we're going to put in the value of 100. So 100% is what it's going to come on to. And then down here, device, once again, we're just going to select the backyard lights. And now the lights will increase to 100% from whatever they were before. Finally, what we want to do is change the lights to a light blue or some other color that um, is not going to be as aggressive on the eyes at night. And there's a command in here called color absolute and that's the one we're going to be using for this. I did learn one thing here, you cannot just type in blue, it doesn't recognize that. This is one I had to look up um, because I kept getting an error on it. It is missing a command color, you have to go down and put name underneath. If you do a search for the color absolute command and scroll down to the bottom, this is how I found it. You see device command color absolute, the device and the color, the name, and then you can put it in. Things not perfectly clear, but there is help to be found. So we want to change the light to blue. And once again, the device is going to be the backyard lights. And that's us done with the lighting section of this. One quick note, I have been using the validate button. Uh, you don't need to see that run. It's just going to find any errors that you might have, either syntax or something incorrect. But use the validate button and remember, save your work. Now the music, I'm going to get a little more involved with after just making sure that the routine is running. There are a few options here. There's shuffle, next, things like that. I'm mostly interested in the shuffling, but to call it up, I'm just going to use the assistant command. Play music on the backyard speaker. And device, once again, comes up. Backyard speaker in the backyard. One more thing that we want to have happen is we want to change the volume of the backyard speaker. To do that, we're just going to use another type command. We're going to look up set volume command, change the volume level to 85%, and then once again, select backyard speaker for the device we want that to happen on. Now, when I was doing this, I found a command to delay. So what I'm gonna do is, after we've been in the hot tub for about five minutes, I want the backyard lights to turn off. We're going to do the type, to call up our list of commands, and then leave it was just delay as one, well. yeah, time delay. So we're gonna use the time delay command. It's gonna say for how long, you're gonna type in five, and then it says hours, minutes, or seconds. We want five minutes. We're gonna go back and do another type command, and this is, we're turning the device off. So device command on off, false is off, and the devices we need are the backyard lights. Real simple to set that up. Um, didn't really have any major problems except for uh, changing the color. They just didn't come up. This is the full script that we've programmed in, everything from the metadata to the starters and all the actions in the automation. Now, the fun part is let's see if this works. And here's the test. Hot tub time. So the lights have changed, they're blue, and the backyard speaker is playing. So the routine is now doing exactly what it was doing before, so we've managed to replicate every step of the previous automation. Now I'm going to go back in, try to edit the script, and change how the music plays. I want instead of it just to start playing music, to play a specific playlist on random.
after literally dozens of attempts to try to get the script working, I've currently given up. I cannot seem to find a way to get it to play a specific YouTube playlist that I've created on random. I've tried multiple times, multiple different ways. This is the code I've finally been able to figure out that should work, but it's just not. Um, I've even tried switching over to Spotify. What's happening when I call up the routine is Google seems to not be able to recognize who I am all of a sudden. I'll show you that right now. I can only share personal information once I verify your voice. Try going to assistant settings, then checking your voice match settings. What's my name? Your name is Joe. From the way it looks, I think I have three main options going forward. Option one, forget the whole thing. Stop programming at this point, go back, change everything back to the way it was. I won't be able to call up my playlist, but at least I had a functioning automation that way. Second option is to move forward, and this is where I really want to go. I'm pretty sure somebody smart out there will be able to let me know or see what's going on and figure out how to get my playlist on YouTube Music to play using this automation. So if you have any ideas, if you figure it out, put the code in the comments, email me, my stuff's all over the place. I really want to get this working. The third option is going to be using the Google AI Help Me Script option. I know I said I'd get to that in this video, but this video is kind of running a little longer than I like, so we're going to do that in a whole new video. That should be coming out sometime in the future. I'll link it here once that is up and running, and hey, that might work. It's what it's there for, so fingers crossed. That's going to be it for this video. I know it's a little anticlimactic. I really wanted to get everything done in one, but looks like we're going to have a two-parter here. I want to thank you for watching, and if you did like the video, please like and subscribe. Click on the beaver. If you didn't, I don't care. I'm just an old Canadian guy in his new Canadian home trying to make it a little bit smarter and have some fun while doing it. I hope to see you in the comments. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.